Good morning. My name is Miss Cat, and I want to welcome you to Rattle and Rhyme here at the Friendswood Library. So, before we get started today, there's a couple of things you might want to see if you can gather from your house. The first thing is a piece of fabric, kind of like my purple scarf. Maybe you have scarves at your house, or maybe you have a handkerchief, or maybe a small kitchen towel. You could even use a little t-shirt. Anything at all that you can shake and throw up into the air, things like that. The second thing you're going to need is something that when you shake it, it makes a little bit of noise. I have a blue shaky egg. You might have shaky eggs at your house, or maybe you have a rattle, or maybe you have something that you've made from things around the house that when you shake, it makes some noise. If you can't find anything like that, don't worry. You can always use your scarf, your towel, your t-shirt, and you can shake that just the same. Okay, to get started, we're gonna stretch our legs right out in front of us as far as we can, and we're gonna say hello to our toes, and our knees, and our tummies, and our hands, and our heads. And last is my favorite part where we say hello to all of our friends. If you are a bigger child, you can do all of this by yourself. You can reach down and touch your toes, and you can touch your knees, and your tummies, and your hands, and your head, and your wave at your friends. If you are a caregiver, and you have a small baby, you can do all of these actions with them. So you can lay your baby in your lap and you can say hello to their little toes and their hands and their knees and their tummies and touch their little heads. And this is a great rhyme for gaining body awareness and also just having nice contact with your baby. So we are ready to get started. Yes, let's do it. Say hello to your toes. Hello toes. Hello toes, say hello to your toes. Hello toes. Say hello to your knees. Hello knees, hello knees. Say hello to your knees. Hello knees. Say hello to your hands. Hello hands, hello hands. Say hello to your hands. Hello hands. Say hello to your tummy. Hello tummy. Hello tummy. Say hello to your tummy. Hello tummy. Say hello to your head. Hello head. Hello head. Say hello to your head. Hello head. Say hello to your friends. Hello friends, hello friends. Say hello to your friends. Hello friends. And what do we do next? Yes, we clap. Yay! Clap, clap, clap. Very beautifully sang. Our next rhyme is a song about opposites. It's called Roly Poly. And we're going to take our arms and we're going to roll them ourselves. Or if you have a young baby, you can roll their arms. You can even roll their legs. And we're going to sing about the opposites of up, up, up. And the opposite of up is down, down, down. We're going to go out, out, out. And the opposite of out is in, in, in. And then we're going to go fast with our arms as we roll them. And the opposite of fast is slow. Are you ready? Here we go. Rolly poly, rolly poly, up, 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 
Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly. Down, 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 down. Rolly, poly, rolly, poly. Out, 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 out. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly. In, 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 in. Rolly, poly, rolly, poly. Fast, 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 fast. Rolly, rolly, poly, rolly, rolly, poly. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Very good. That was so slow. Our next rhyme is called Hands Are Clapping. And this one's really fun because we get some rhythm. We get to learn how our bodies can be used to create rhythm and music. So if you're a bigger child, you can do this stuff all on your own. You can clap your hands, you can tap your feet, you can wiggle your fingers. That even makes noise if you listen. You can do all those things on your own. If you have a small baby, you can help them go through these motions either facing you so you can share facial expressions or if they like to sit out and watch the world, you can do it this way as well. Ready? Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Tap your toes, my darling. Fingers are wriggling, wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Fingers are wriggling, wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Fingers are wriggling, wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Wriggle your fingers, my darling. Very good. We're going to make our own books. And this rhyme is great because it kind of not only has the motions of reading, of opening a book and closing a book, but it talks about the structure of the book. And so it introduces you to the idea of the, of the spine, how we open the book, and how there are pages inside, and that those pages contain words and pictures. So it's a pretty, pretty neat rhyme. And it's a lot of fun to do. So we're going to make our own book. And the way that we do that is we just clap our hands, and then timber, we flip it over. Let's take a look at this book. Here is the cover, we open it wide. Here are the pages hidden inside. There are words and pictures. We look and we look. And when we are finished, we close up the book. This week we're reading this adorable book. It's called This Little Hamster. And it's written and illustrated by Cass Reich. And the publishing company is called Orca Book Publishers. So we want to thank both the author, illustrator, and the publishing company for allowing us to share this book together. There are a lot of things that I really love about this book. First, I love how simple and clear and fun the illustrations are. There is the obvious element of color identification on each page. Plus, you have the opportunity to identify the different objects that are mentioned for each color. Also, the hamsters are just really cute. You can't go wrong with that. I hope you love this book as much as I do. This morning we're reading This Little Hamster. It was written and illustrated by Cass Reich. And we want to extend a big thank you to Orca Book Publishing for allowing us to read this book together. This little hamster is crazy for blue. She has a sofa, a net, and a silly tutu. These little hamsters love everything red. They have a hat, a cherry, and a spool of thread. These little hamsters prefer items in pink. They have 
cupcakes, a wand, and something to drink. These little hamsters are drawn to things yellow. They have a duck, a key, and a bowl full of jello. This little hamster adores all that is brown. She has a huge chocolate bunny and a magical crown. These little hamsters collect everything purple. They have a hoop, a wig, and a dino named Durple. This little hamster really likes green. He has a prize-winning pepper and a bubble machine. These little hamsters go wild for white. They have an egg, a daisy, and an elegant kite. These little hamsters only love black. They have a tire, a top hat, and a healthy snack. The end. Now that we're finished reading our book, it's time to get to our bounces. Our bounces are a lot of fun. We need a grown up or we need to stand on our own two feet. I'm going to stay seated just so that you can see me in the video. We're going to do our bounces two times each because they're so much fun. So find your grown up. And if they, if you don't want to be lifted by your grown up, they can jump along beside you. Just make sure, look around, make sure you're in a really safe, open space. I'm in a safe space. Now I have little Arthur. So if you have a little baby, like I have little Arthur, I'm gonna bounce Arthur like this because he can't jump on his own yet, not yet. So I'm gonna bounce Arthur and you can do that with your baby. You can do that facing outwards towards the rest of the world. You can put your baby facing you and you can alternate. Since we're doing it twice, you can do one each way if you want to. The first rhyme is called A Smooth Road and it's a nice introduction rhyme because it starts gradually, especially if your baby is new to bounces. That's a nice way to start to see how they react to the idea of being moved through the air with their bodies up and down and side to side. So this is called a smooth road. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a hole. That got more exciting, didn't it, as we went? So we gotta climb out of the hole, there we go. We're gonna do that one more time. And this time I'm gonna turn Arthur to face me. Are you ready? A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a hole. And climb out of the hole. Our second rhyme is called A Bouncing We Will Go. And this will have several different kinds of motions in one rhyme. So we're going to bounce, we're going to rock, our arms are going to go up and down, and our legs are going to go oh, too close to the books. Our legs are going to go back and forth. So all those things. Just like previous rhymes, if you are a bigger child, you can do all of these things on your own. If you have a baby, you would just mimic these motions with your baby. So you would have bouncing, rocking, and then arms moving up and down, just very gently, and legs going back and forth. And we'll do this two times. A bouncing we will go, a bouncing we will go. Hi, how's the dairy -o? a bouncing we will go. A rocking we will go, a rocking we will go. Hi ho the dairy o, a rocking we will go. The arms go up and down, my arms go up and down. Hi ho the dairy go, dairy o, our arms go up and down. Our legs go back and forth, our legs go back and forth. 
hi ho there we go our legs go back and forth you can move your legs however you want it's not fun ready a uh, bouncing we will go a uh, bouncing we will go hi ho the dairy a uh, bouncing we will go a uh, rocking we will go a uh, rocking we will go hi ho the dairy a uh, rocking we will go our arms go up and down our arms go up and down hi ho the dairy -o. our arms go up and down our legs go back and forth our legs go back and forth hi ho the dairy -o. our legs go back and forth <sighs> That's a very energetic rhyme, isn't it? Whew. We have one more rhyme. Our last rhyme is our elevator song, and we have kept this rhyme the same from the very first Rattle and Rhyme I did here at the Friendswood Library years and years ago. We love this elevator song. So for the elevator, you can stay seated like me, I'm going to stay seated just so you see me in the video, but you remember when we do Rattle and Rhyme here at the Friendswood Library, we often like to stand up because we're going to go all the way from the first floor up, 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 as high as you dare to the fifth floor and then quick zoom down. So it's a pretty exciting rhyme and this is a good one if you have a, if it's a new experience for you and your child um, to really read their cues see how they like it. Some children are right off the bat wanting to go high up to the sky and down very quickly. Others like a little bit more of a gradual exposure to that sense of height going up high. So you will be able to tell with your baby probably very easily. <laughs> but the first thing we do before we set up in our elevator is we close the doors. And what's the second thing we do? Do you remember? Yes, we push all the buttons. Push, 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 push. You ready? Okay. Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, down. Is that exciting? I'm going to turn Arthur towards me this time so that we can really enjoy this together, looking at each other. Ready? Let's go riding in an elevator. Let's go riding in an elevator. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, down. Oh, Arthur likes that. Yes. Did you like that too? Good. Do you remember at the beginning I said it would be helpful if you could find a piece of fabric or a scarf or a little towel or something small like that that you could wave and throw in the air? If you didn't get a chance to grab it, now's your chance. We're gonna get it. We're gonna bring it back and we are going to do our scarf songs. Our first song we're going to sing this morning is called One Bright Scarf. And this one allows us to wave our scarves in different ways. So we're going to wave it up high. We're going to wave it down low. We're going to shake it really fast. And we're going to shake it slow. And this is a bit of an advanced move. We're going to hide our scarf behind our back. And that's a fun way of beginning to teach the principle of object permanence. So the idea that when something disappears, it doesn't disappear forever, it comes back. So we're going to sing this song two times just so we really get the hang of it. So the first time we're just going to practice because this is a new one for us, isn't it? Are you ready? One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high, wiggle it low. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Where did it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Throw it up into the air and try to catch it maybe. Can you do that? Throw it in the air and try to catch it. Okay, now we know it. We're gonna sing it a little bit faster this time. One more time. 
One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high, wiggle it low. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Where did it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. Good job. Our second scarf song is called The Fish in the Sea. And we sing this to the tune of the wheels on the bus. And we're able to take our scarves and magically transform them into four different things. Number one, we're gonna pretend that our scarves are little colorful fish. And they swim very fast side to side. They go swish, 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 swish. Then your scarf is gonna become a dolphin. And dolphins swim through the air leaping in circles like this. Thirdly, the scarves are, are going to become sand that drifts down, down, down. We're going to have a chance to throw our scarf up into the air and try to catch it, which is excellent fine motor skill development. It can be tricky. Even sometimes, if the wind catches my scarf a certain way, I might miss it. The last thing our scarves are going to become are waves and waves go up and down and up and down and up and down. If you are a bigger child, you can do all of those things all by yourself and you can practice going fast and making circles and throwing your scarf and catching and going up and down. And if you have a smaller infant, this is a nice opportunity to lay them on your lap like this and you can, poor Arthur, he fell out of my lap. There we go. And you can do these motions over your baby's face nicely. They can watch the colorful scarf move around, watching it drift down towards them and so forth. Are you ready? We just sing this one one time because it's kind of longer. Are you ready? Let's see, Arthur will, will lay down. He can't wave the scarf yet by himself. No, not yet. Ready? The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, swish, swish all day long. The dolphins in the sea swim round and round, round and round, round and round. The dolphins in the sea swim round and round all day long. The sand in the sea drifts down, 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 down. Down, 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 the sand in the sea drifts down, 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 all day long. The waves on the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves on the sea go up and down all day long. Oh, that was so pretty. Now it's time to get your shaky egg, if you have one, or your rattle or your homemade noise maker you might have made. Um, if you don't have any of those things, that's okay. Excuse me, Arthur. You can also use your piece of fabric, your towel, your scarf, whatever it was. You can shake that too. It makes a little bit of a noise. Okay, we're gonna do our first egg shaker song and it's called We Shake Our Eggs Together. Ready? We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together. Why do we do that? Because it's fun to do. Shake them up high, very high. Shake them down low. Shake them in the middle. Why do we do that? Yes, because it's fun to do. Very good. For our second egg shaker song, we have a brand new song and it's called, Can You Shake Along With Me? It's sung to the tune of London Bridge. We use that one a lot. That's a great tune. And repetition of songs is really good for young babies and young toddlers. For this song, if you are a bigger child, you can do the motions of shaking and then we touch the shaker on different parts of our body. So maybe on our knees, maybe on our elbow, maybe on our toes, whatever you want. This is a great song to change, to change 
it's, it's limitless how many times you could change this. It's a great way of introducing the concept of different body parts, identifying them and touching them. If you have a small baby, you're gonna shake and then touch to the foot, to the knee, whatever we mention, okay? Let's give it a try. Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Touch your shaker to your knee. <gasps> Did you do it? Where's your knee? There it is. Let's try again. Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Touch your shaker to your hand. Did you do it? Where's your hand? Where's our Arthur's hand? There it is. Let's try another one. Ready? Can you shake along with me? Along with me, along with me. Can you shake along with me? Touch your shaker to your head. <laughs> Did you do it? Where's your head? There it is. How about one more for this week? Can you shake along with me? Along with me, along with me. Can you shake along with me? Touch your shaker to your ear. Did you get it? Where's your ear? <gasps> what about the other one? Very good. That's a really fun one and it could go on for a very long time. You could have a very good time with that. Finally, we've come to the time of Rattle and Rhyme when we would share the I Know a Chicken song, which is our favorite. It's sung by the Lori Berkner Band and we get to shake our eggs. You remember? It says, I know a chicken, I know a chicken, and she laid an egg. Yes, that's the one. So what you can do now is you can pause this video and if you go to YouTube and if you look up Lori Berkner Band, they have a wonderful channel and it has so many songs, so many wonderful songs, including I Know a Chicken. And so you can cue it up there and play it right now and we can shake together and sing that song and pretend that we're all together here enjoying that song just like we used to. Over and see it now. Yeah. And just like that, we're at the end of Rattle and Rhyme for this week. Thank you so much for watching this video and participating with me. And I miss you and hope that one day soon we can be together again in our room, shaking our eggs and waving our scarves and having so much fun. But until then, know that I'm here with you. You can come and see us at the library. You can come and visit us if you want to get some books. You can also still call us for book bags if you would rather do it that way. And we can put together a special care package of books just for you to pick up at the drive-through. So until next week, we're going to sing our goodbye song. And today I'm gonna to use my purple scarf to wave goodbye to you as we sing this song. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you all next time. Bye.